Welcome to the CKA Certification Series Part 22. In this video we will show you how to add an existing pod to a new replica set. 24th question is, create a replica set with below mentioned specifications, the replica set name should be web app. The image should be engine X and replicas equal to 3. There is already a pod running in our cluster named Web Frontend. Please make sure the total number of pods running in the cluster is not more than three. Which means we have to add the existing pod under our replica set. Without further ado, let's kickstart. Okay, let's check the existing pod first. We can see one pod is running in this cluster, so in order to add this pod under our new replica set, First we need to know the labels of this pod. So let's edit the pod. Okay we can see one label for this pod, so let's copy this label for making our replica set. Exit without saving. Okay, now create the deployment dry run. Why we are creating a deployment YAML file for the replica set is, we can easily create the replica set YAML file by editing the deployment file, only we need to change the kind to the replica set, that's enough. We need to add the same label of the existing pod here. Tier equals front end. Kind should be replica set. We don't want strategy in replica set. Replicas should be 3. Ok our YAML file is ready, let's save and exit. Let's apply the YAML file. Ok, let's list the pod. We can see two more pods are added into the cluster. Let's list the replica set. Yes, we can see three pods are running under our new replica set, which means, we are successfully added web frontend pod to our replica set. Let's describe the replica set. We can see two pods are created by this replica set. But under this replica set there is three pods, which means our existing pod is added to this replication set. If we delete this replica set then our all pods will be removed. Ok, I am going to demonstrate this, in the examination, you don't need to delete these pods after creation. Ok, let's delete the replica set.
Yes, all pods are deleted, we can see not only pods that are created by the replication set, our existing pod also is deleted. Thank you for watching this video, if you felt this video is useful then, please do like and subscribe.